That's it. <laughs> I had an assist from my husband starting this. So thank you so much for uh, everybody who has, you know, told me that you like what I'm doing. Tragically, it's made me very self-conscious and I have spent the past 15 minutes, you know, there's always the hair issue. I tried on a hat, it looked absurd. So we've taken off the hat. You're stuck with this. I wanna talk about the power of the obstacle in cooking because my whole idea for the show is doing good cooking in a crap kitchen. We all probably know of somebody who has one of those kitchens. <laughs> you know, they've got the, the one of those big fancy stoves with a lot of burners and it's beautiful and they have plenty of counter space. My friend Jeanette has a very nice oven. It's even the color I like. And Jeanette makes all sorts of stuff that is delightful. And she and I are from the same kind of uh, background. So we eat all this old fashioned food because uh, my uh, family never really recovered from the 1650s. And um, anyway, I do not have Jeanette's kitchen. Maybe we'll have her on one day as a guest and she'll have to cook in my crap kitchen. Let's see how she does then. She'll probably blow me out of the water. But anyway, um, you know, I'm trying to get over my self-consciousness here, so just bear with me. And while wondering if you can hear the apple being peeled, I'm making apple cake. And I am making an apple cake that is really the best apple cake I've ever eaten. I've made several apple cakes and I had less than stellar results. I mean, cooking takes a lot of trouble, you know? So why go to the trouble for a less than really good result? So, you know, my husband really likes apple cakes. So one day I was thinking about making one, but I hadn't been happy with the last one I made. <laughs> you know what I did? I Googled world's best apple cake and I came upon this recipe and it really is. How funny is that? It's that easy. The internet's good for recipes. Okay, but we're talking about um, the obstacle. I take my life into my hands every time I pick up a knife because I don't do it properly, I guess. Um, that's what, So, for a long time, I looked at success as an event. If I only did this, if I only got there, if I only had this amount of money, if I only had him, if I only had her, if I, you know, you know that if I just had this game, right? Okay, so it's rather embarrassing to be my age and just start figuring out life but there you have it and um life is not an event it's not one event it's not two events it's not three events you know the big event for women for a long time was the wedding <laughs> uh, and you know the wedding day is where you get to be like the star of the show and all that and then the rest of your life uh was filled with taking care of other people who didn't appreciate what you were doing. So, you know, that's not working out. But, um, yeah, I'm figuring out there's no event that will make me happy. So, if there's no event that will make me happy, what do I do? And I have to find joy in days that look like this that are, you know, I don't know if you can see, I live near the Hudson and uh, it's cloudy and gray and um, which I don't mind. It's good to read a book on a cloudy and gray day. But all I'm saying is that it's Saturday in a pandemic and my husband and I are both unemployed and um, trying to figure out how to hold on to our house. I mean, really, that's the situation. So what do I do? What do I do? I cook. I cook. And um, 
what I also do is I decided one day to turn on the video camera while I cook. And now here I sit, feeling very excited to do a little video for you. So I am not rich. I do not know how to work my iPhone. I do not know how to, I mean, I know how to work it, but you know, it's like I'm no cinematography genius. And it's all all right. I've got a lot of obstacles, but it's great to power through the obstacle. And I guess maybe that's what I'm learning is that just power through the obstacles. That's the joy in life. And you know, people talk a lot about being happy, but I heard somebody use a different word once that I really like satisfying, have a satisfying life. I like that. And if you power through obstacles, you're going to have a satisfying life. The other thing is that since we're talking about good food and crap kitchens, if you don't start cooking in your crap kitchen, you're not going to you're not going to cook in your fancy kitchen. I promise you. You got to start like with what you've got. And what's funny is I started cooking more when I um my mom's 91 and I go down to Virginia uh, once a month and I help her. And there is nothing that makes my mother happier than good food. And when she was a little girl, she lived in, um, we're from Fredericksburg, Virginia, but her maternal grandparents had a, uh, a place out in called Partlow, Virginia. And um, she remembers going out there on weekends and she talks so beautifully and enthusiastically about the dining room table and how it was laden with this delicious food, you know? So I started um, to cook for my mom and my mother is eccentric, big shock. I have an eccentric mother. And um, through a story I will not get into at the moment, because I don't want to cut off my finger. The only thing I had with which to cook was I went to <laughs> Walmart and um, bought uh, an electric frying pan because I didn't have an oven in which to cook. So um, the electric fire frying pan became my obstacle. That was the limit I had to cook it in this pan, right? So um, what I found out is that you can cook a lot of things in an electric frying pan. You really can. And uh, I mean, I, I cooked a pork loin in an electric frying pan. I uh, braised it in it. And then I put apples and onions and I put the lid on it, right? And the moisture from the apples and onions kind of steamed the pork loin. I mean, it, it, I've had a lot of fun, and um, since we're talking about apples, fried apples are her favorite thing, so I make a lot of fried apples in it. Uh, but it was the obstacle of just having a um, an electric frying pan that led me to start cooking more. So embrace the obstacle, and anybody, anybody, anybody can go into a kitchen that has a lot of counter space and um, a gorgeous refrigerator and one of those fancy stoves. This is not a dig at you, Jeanette. I, as you know, I'm jealous of the stove. I can't help it. Anybody can go into a kitchen like that and if they have the money, you know, get like truffle oil from Whole Foods and cook something really good. But to have the obstacle of a crap kitchen and to cook something really good, that, my friends, is satisfying. All right, I'm gonna chop up these apples now and I'm not gonna make a two hour video because I don't know how to edit yet. So, I'll be back.